So, um, what is art? And what's so good and what's so bad about modern art or abstract art? Good points, good questions, good discussion. Um, I can only reveal my opinion. And I think it's a f that's the first thing everyone needs to understand about art, is that it is 100% opinion-based. Period. Um, that's what makes art so difficult to discuss, is that no one can be right. No one can be wrong. It's just, that's the bottom line. It comes down to, you know, the individual. We've been blessed by who knows what, We'll be even blessed with the gift of intelligence and uh, a sense of individualism. We are we are our own person, and what I might find might find pleasing to my mind, my heart, my soul, and my eye can be totally different than someone sitting right next to me. So I think that's step one. This is just an opinion. Um, I guess some guidelines that I have for not only my art but art that I viewed in over the years or whatever <laughs> or art that I've experienced is that all good art is questioned is all good art needs to be explained um, if it doesn't matter this um, how realistic it looks or how abstract it looks. If it's not being questioned, it's not saying anything to anyone then. Because humans, human beings, want to question. We are born with a desire to question everything. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> hiccups. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the point is, for that so far anyway, is that um, abstract art does not, to be, does not need to be explained any more or less than realistic art, in my opinion, of course. Um, yeah, that's that, I guess, for at least, again, in my opinion. The worst kind of art, art is the art that gets ignored, in my opinion, again. I should probably just stop saying that, in my opinion, because this is all in my opinion. But all are, uh, the worst kind of art is the art that gets ignored. Um, I'm usually thrilled if I get a review, a negative review, because they at least they at least got a reaction. They the questions were negative questions, but they decided to question anyway. And I'm okay with that. And I think any good artist is, in my opinion. I might accidentally say in my opinion like five more times because it's just a habit. <laughs> but all all good art is questioned, and all and the worst kind of art is the art that gets ignored. Um, furthermore, um, I think I think all art is a reaction and a reflection to not just the artist, but to the times and the current events that the artist is experiencing. Whether it's personal, public, global, or internal, that artist is experiencing something and this and the result and the the result of the work is how that artist has decided to record that experience or the, or an event of some kind no matter and again realism or abstract makes no difference to me anyway um, I know there's movements and there's no there's some there's there's movements I prefer and there's there's aesthetics I prefer but art is art and art in its core is a recording and a reflection if you notice that in, in history and uh, in, eth in human observation, in historical human observation, we 
tend to gen generally look at previous civilizations art first that's the first thing we, we we discover or observe to try to put together what a civilization before ours might have worked or culture might have worked we see how their art looks what is what is it conveying sometimes the message is and what some uh, what an artist is trying to say is very simple. The communication is very simple. Sometimes it is not. But they're all communicating something. All art is communicating something. And it could be subconscious, it could be surreal, or it could be very obvious. Um, but again, I don't think it can be 100% obvious. Even the most realistic looking still lives or body compositions, etc., etc. Even the one with distinct forms make you think, or there would be no communication. Anytime someone says a statement, you say something back. This is a general human instinct. If I say, if I, if, if I just say the most mundane statement, you're probably going to question that, even if it's a basic communication. You probably get a question. You at least get to say something back in return. Um, so I mean, after you raise or after you get past all that, then some basic factors come come to fruition or come to the foreground: time, skill, effort, execution. Some basic things said. So how skilled do you have to be to work on the art? How much time did it take to work on the art? How much effort did you put into making the art? And how was this all executed? Um, then this is when, where you might be able to put some, some standard, some standards of good art and bad art. I tend to not even think you can at that point, but I'm saying that maybe is where you can start drawing lines. Um, because again, the skill, the skills of an artist, especially in today's modern world, are so subjective. There is no wrong way or right way to draw or paint or anything, or to do anything artistic. Um, when we had the French Academy in the 18th century, the 19th century, there was, but that is gone. So there's so many different ways to do, to express, to express. And that, that's, that's what it comes down to. What are we expressing? How are we expressing? Um, I've seen some great realistic works of art that I don't feel that's expressing anything. And I've seen some great abstract works of art that says so much to me and it might say nothing to the next person and it's been flipped around I've seen some abstract works that are god awful in the sense where I'm like I think they just painted a square just to paint a square because they think it looks good um, anyone that says that by the way is lying in my opinion no one paints a square just because they think it looks good there's a reason why they're doing it and they, they may not even know why to be honest, but they're communicating. Um, and I've seen some realistic paintings that communicate so much to me. Um, and others that don't. Um, so I, I'm running out of time here, but I guess the bottom line, and I'll probably write some more to back this up, um, that all art, all good artists questioned, all good, good artists objective, all good artists discussed. Um, and it's up to each individual person to decide what they like and what they do not like and anyone that thinks something is bad is bad art probably doesn't probably shouldn't be really looking at art and being critical of it but I say if you're being critical of art then you understand art so be critical of art but do it in a constructive way if you don't like abstract art tell us why. If you do like abstract art, tell us why. Thank you for listening. <laughs>